The show, set in the early 1990s, tells the story of legendary hip-hop group Wu-Tang Clan and their early beginnings in Staten Island, New York. Season 2 is set to premiere on Hulu next week, starting September 8th. And joining me now to talk about it all is actress Ebony Obsidian. Uh, welcome to the show. Good to see you as always. For those that don't know the show, can you fill us in before season two hits the screen? Tell, tell, us, tell us what the show is fundamentally. Absolutely. Thank you again so much for having me. And also, I have not seen that clip, so thank you for sharing that with me. <laughs> um, <laughs> season one of uh, Wu-Tang is essentially about the group coming together. You get to see, you know, all these young black men in Staten Island, where they come from, all that they're struggling with. You know, this is, season one is like in the 80s. And so you're seeing them go from the streets, drugs, the fast life, to coming together as a group of men who are doing music, which is so powerful. And we know them now as the routine that they are. And it's, um, season two just rolls right into how they continue to do that, but take it to the next level. And, and your character is right in the mix there as they as they take it to the next level, at, at least the show. Uh, who is your character, Nia, and, and, and why is she central to this? You know, I like to think that she's not central. I think she's a lot more drama-free than a lot of the characters on the show. But um, <laughs> she's a little bit central in that, you know, she's a supporter of the family. She is divine. Um, Reza's eldest brother, the manager of the group's girlfriend, they have a very serious relationship in the first season, and she is just trying to keep him on the straight and narrow path, which something that I learned also, I'm a 90s baby, so I was born during the time that Wu-Tang was on the rise. So I didn't get to learn about them the way that I'm getting to learn about them now, but seeing how the story is unfolding and really understanding, having to choose between a place to stay, where you get your food, making sure your family's provided for, and being ambitious and a dreamer and rising out of a situation that you just, you've never been outside of is just so prolific. And she's central in that she pushes that for everybody, I think, in the family. What drew you to the role, right? You said you're a 90s baby, you know, wasn't like you would grow up, you know, with the woo in the same way that like uh, older generations did, like me. Um, what, what drew you to this? I wanted to learn. I wanted to learn so bad. I mean, I think um, the show is cool and it's raw. I was so excited to see the first season and to see the way that they put it together and that it didn't feel, you know, cookie cutter. It felt raw. And the season, the next season coming up is, is just as raw, if not more. And it's super exciting. So for me, I was drawn to the character because I was drawn to someone who um, was a bit different than a lot of the other characters during that time. Um, that had a different vision for people and that really stood by what she believed, which is, you know, we can be bigger and better than where we come from. You, over the course, like you said, of learning and studying and becoming part of this, um, have had to take in the Wu-Tang catalog. Have you become, would you consider yourself like a Wu-Tang fan now? You know, I think, honestly, being a 90s baby, you hear it like you hear the music of the 90s and people always try to clown you when you're born in a certain period be like you don't know nothing about that but the truth is it's kind of like in your in your bones to some extent i think i've learned a lot more about the group as people which has been really really cool because you know they're huge and and like international stars like just and forever will be so that's amazing but i think to me the most interesting thing has been learning about them um outside of the music mm. like stuff they went through to get to, is, to is, is there, the people that we know them as now is, is crazy no it, it absolutely is is there anybody who is there a personality or a person or alter ego or anything that you're drawn to like who, who in the woo like is compelling to you character wise or in real life either way either way <laughs> um I think seeing Ashton play RZA and now knowing RZA in real life mm. is very interesting. It's very interesting for me. All of the all of the men, all the women, everybody bodies their characters. But I just think it's really interesting to see, you know, him, RZA, who actually is central to this story, um, just bring that to life is really, really, really cool. So yeah, I think he's pretty compelling. 
R R Rizza is a compelling figure. He is a, a yes. genius. He is uh, so multi-talented, and I, I remember listening to RZA when he was Prince Rakim, when he had that, that local New York, right. New Jersey single, I Love You Rakim, and to watch him right. help produce this thing that is now the Wu-Tang Clan, it, it's extraordinary, and the fact that you all are, are telling these stories um, is it, it, so important. Um, now, you also are doing other projects. You currently uh, are working on a few things. Uh, you are currently starring as Karen and Tyler Perry's sisters, uh, now that's a different role, a different direction. Uh, tell me about different. that series and, and why that's important. <laughs> oh, so different. It's so different, which is the great part. I'm really excited because we just actually passed the mid-season finale of Sisters season three. We're in season three. And so now that both shows are going to be airing at the same time, it's really cool, I think, for people to see how different they are. But um, Karen is is similar to Nia in the way that she's assertive. Um, she has her stuff together. She has vision. Um, the difference is she doesn't always know how to get there or how to support herself in getting there or um, how to support others in, in helping them get to where you know they gotta go. I think we're in the third season now and I'm so embedded in the character that I... <laughs> she's fierce. She's fierce. But she's so soft, and I'm really excited that more and more of mm. that is getting to be shown. Yeah, because, you know, especially you, like playing a, a woman, a black woman on TV who is um, strong and often, I think, misunderstood in a lot of what they are bringing to the table is special in the way people steer away from stereotypes, but I think it's really important to actually attack them head on if we're ever going to talk about these things within our community, you know? Yo, absolutely. Another thing that you attack head on is injustice. And you are genuinely, and some people pretend to do it, they do it on their Instagram, they do it on their Twitter, but you are genuinely committed to social activism. Uh, and you've been actively supporting the International Rescue Committee. Can you say a little bit about what that is and why you're so passionate about that? Absolutely. So IRC, I actually was keeping, I, I've been wanting to get involved with with activism for a long time. And I think I actually wanted to be a journalist at one point. I wanted to be sitting where you were sitting one day before I knew what that entailed, which you are the one who was supposed to be sitting there. <laughs> so I'm glad things turned out the way they did. Um, but absolutely, no, IRC is um, the International Rescue Committee, and they are essentially an organization that works, a nonprofit that works to help people across the globe, but also in the States, immigrants, refugees, we settle, we establish, but also become self-sufficient, which was the one thing that made me really want to work with them, is I didn't want to work with an organization that was set on creating dependency. I wanted to work with an organization that was set on creating actual freedom and livelihood for people like my family, who we settled here in the 80s from you know Eritrea, Ethiopia. And that to me has been such a learning experience. I gain so much more than I give there. And hopefully one day I can give as much as I can. 